How's it going guys? R Triple XC, aka the Raging Cajun here, and wow, I have a special video for you. Um, I was actually invited uh, to the little preview event from Way Forward and uh, Warner Brothers Games, actually, and of course Spin Master uh, of a little preview event that was pretty private uh, for Bakugan Champions of Destroya. Um, I've been pretty positive about the game. Looking forward, uh, you know, I talk about it on Twitter a lot. I had a pretty relatively successful video that happened because I was just kind of analyzing a trailer. Uh, and I guess because of that, I don't know, birthed this opportunity for me to come. So thank you for everybody over there who invited me. I know Brock McLaughlin had a big part in that. Me and Brock are pretty cool. So uh, thank you for that, Brock. It was really cool to be a part of this. I've never done anything like this before. Um, but what I want to do for you guys, the Bakugan fans out there, I'm wearing my Bakugan shirt. I'm still doing Bakugan. I know I do Digimon. I'm doing Bakugan. Here we go. Um, I want to talk about what they talked about. Um, basically, it was a long presentation, uh, about 30 minutes about the game, uh, exposing some more of the details that we didn't necessarily know before. Uh, and what we got to do was look at some gameplay, um, talk about some, uh, talk, talk about the mechanics, uh, and talk about what was actually in the game. Now, uh, you know, they didn't tell me to say anything. They said, do with this information what you will. And that is what I'm doing. I kind of take it upon myself to be the Bakugan person there because I assume there were a bunch of like reporters and stuff there just asking you know random questions about video games which can get annoying for some people uh, so I'm coming at this from a true Baku master Bakugan fan telling you what I heard and my opinions on what happened all right um so let's start off with what we first saw saw a couple trailers Nothing new that we hadn't seen before. You know, talking about how the history of Bakugan, they were kind of presenting the information to everybody. Uh, and, you know, I wasn't the only person there. Uh, obviously, there were reporters, and like I said earlier, uh, were checking out the game. Um, but uh, what we saw first was a battle trailer, and we've all seen this, right? Um, gameplay is the same as what we've seen. Uh, it is the player character. Uh, running around using the Baku cores on the field to give energy to the Bakugan that are standing and fighting um, And then each of the four Nintendo switch buttons are assigned to a different ability uh, And once you get enough energy to charge up that ability You can pop that button and as soon as you pop that button that ability will activate uh, You have health on the screen uh, and you have your team on the screen what uh, jumped out at me on this screen uh, was actually um, the first two Bakugan they showed us were two evolutions of the Bakugan. Now, um, if you're a fan of the card game and also a fan of the show, um, the character models for the evolutions uh, do not seem to be their actual evolution character models. Uh, what they are are the same character models, so like I'll put Dragonoid here on the screen, um, and they just kind of have either recolored armor on them or a little more armor on them. Uh, they look a little stronger, you know, you can tell. Uh, and also what we had here was Titan Centipod. So we have Hyper Dragonoid, Titan Centipod. Um, and the Titan ones look actually kind of cool, even if it's not a different character model. Um, they have like silver armor on them. Like you can, that you can obviously see that they are a more powerful Bakugan, I guess. Um, but yeah, that was something uh, that showed up that they're not using the evolution character models, even for Dragonoid, because we've seen Hyper Dragonoid, we've seen Titan Dragonoid, we've even seen Maximus Dragonoid in the show, right? Um, so those uh, are not being implemented, it seems. Uh, but you still get to evolve and get more powerful uh, as you use your Bakugan. Um, we're going to break down the Bakugan stuff here in a second. I actually have a list of every Bakugan in the game, uh, and we'll talk about that here in a second. Uh, but just working through the meeting so that my brain works along with how you're listening to me. Um, I took notes, and I kind of went in a off-shooting order, but I'm looking at them. I just have, I just have sticky notes. <laughs> That's how I take notes. So, um, so the story, um, it's going to be highly based around tournament battling. All right, so a little bit of Season 2 action in there uh, from, the, from the anime series. Um, and then, of course, you're going to have your, you know, your everyday regular bad guy plots, as I call it. Somebody will be causing a ruckus and you will have to fight them. Now, uh, wrapping around to the end of the meeting, uh, which was hosted by Ventus Knight, by the way, um, if you wanted to know. Uh, he said that he was playing through the game and story-wise, it took him 20 to 30 hours to beat. 
I'm going to lean more towards 20 just from looking at the game. I don't know. That is not official. Um, but, I mean, apparently they packed in a story in this game. So hopefully uh, that story actually works pretty well. It, it, I mean, it could be cool. You start out as a kid who doesn't know anything about Bakugan. Uh, and one of your buddies in class or whatever has Bakugan and knows how they work and he explains it to you. They said they made this game to be appealing to anyone who doesn't know anything about the franchise. That way if you picked it up off the shelf, uh, you could get into the lore and everything about Bakugan um, and be able to play the game without needing to know anything. Uh, that's kind of what they were going for. Uh, another big part of the game that they kind of showed off was character, character customization. Um, there's different shirts, clothes, pants, um, shoes, uh, all that stuff can be recolored into your favorite faction color. Um, there are going to be these little uh, battle groups that are kind of like little side quests that you can join and beat them and get their little battle group shirt or whatever. Um, so, you know, you can kind of use those. Um, and then we moved into team customization. Team customization uh, is going to be uh, pretty much how I kind of reviewed it in the uh, in, in the previous video where I talked about the game, um, you know, uh, you get to pick your team of three Bakugan. Every Bakugan can come in all the different factions. Um, and this is where I will talk about the Bakugan in the game, okay? Uh, as they said, and as I have counted and seen, there are 17 species of Bakugan in the game. Um, I will list them. Here we go. Auxilator, Barbetra, Centipod, Cycloid, Cindius, Drago, Gilator, Haukor, Hydrus, Maxidon, Nilius, Pegatrix, Feral, Cyrus, Treterus, Trox, and of course the reawakened Leonidas. Um, that is it. That is the 17 Bakugan species that are in the game. Um, and all of those can come in different factions. Now each faction has different play styles. Uh, those play styles will, um, you know, change how that Bakugan operates. Uh, I asked a couple of questions uh, and I only got two of them answered. The one I didn't get answered was, do Bakugan have base stats um, and will they uh, increase as levels increase? Because the Bakugan do have experience points. That is a question I did ask. The Bakugan each have experience points. As they grow, they will get bigger and stronger. Um, and that is kind of where the evolutions happen, okay? Um, so it, what it seems, the ones we've seen are Hyper, Titan, and then diamond, okay, um, there are actual diamond Bakugan, and I'll put a picture up of the diamond Dragonoid, which actually, in my opinion, looks really cool. Um, I know diamond Bakugan are just the same Bakugan, but with clear body stuff on them anyway, so that one fits in really well. It's actually really cool, um, and that's like the highest level. I'm assuming, uh, they said that there were four evolution spaces. I'm assuming that one of the four that they didn't mention or show would be Maximus, um, but that's not confirmed. I don't know. Uh, but the diamond ones are pretty cool, and that's going to be your end of the line. So you're trying to work to build your team up to a full diamond Bakugan team, and that's kind of the idea uh, because that's going to be your highest, I guess, stats and stuff. Uh, I didn't get the base stat answer to the question, um, but they answered the one about... Um, evolutions and how you level up and get those evolutions so that's good um so talking about the online service uh there's two ways to battle online you can battle a random person or you can battle a friend uh the online battling happens uh with the exact same team you were using in the story so whatever you are doing in the story mode um, which will end and apparently there is post game okay uh there's a little bit of post game content um, that team that you are using, you will take online and fight your friends with that team. Uh, there's no separate online party. There's no separate online mechanics, really. It's all the same, it seems. Um, but yeah, so that's basically how, how multiplayer is, uh, is going to work. Um, moving through um, the world of the game. So uh, people kind of assumed it was going to be open world. Um, not necessarily. They said it was pretty much linear, um, but once obviously you unlock an area, you are free to go back to that area. Uh, Ventus Knight had said that um, you know you can rebattle some of the brawlers uh, three to four times, and each time they will have increased le levels. Uh, he said when you get to some points of the post game, they will have 
you know, full diamond teams using the best abilities in the game. Oh, that's the other thing. The abilities will level up with their evolutions as well. So, like, you will have, like, diamond fire blast for Drago when he gets to his uh, diamond level or whatever. Um, so your abilities will actually change. Now, the abilities, they didn't necessarily talk in, uh, in too much detail about the abilities other than what we know. Uh, you can change them out. They all do different things. There's attacking. There's healing. Um, there's uh, damage per time abilities, so like burn or whatever you want to call it. Um, but that's really all they really talked about. Uh, I don't know. It, it was interesting. Um, nothing else really... <laughs> happened in the event. Uh, they were just kind of showing us those things. So uh, I guess I'll tell you about my opinions of this. As Rage and Cajun, aka RXXC, aka a Baku Master from way back when, um, it's going to be a cool collecting monsters game um, that has relatively okay battle mechanics. Uh, and what I'm really happy about is I am a character model person, okay? Um, I love 3D modeling. Uh, that's something I wanted to do when I was younger, was become like an industrial designer, work with 3D design and stuff. That didn't happen, but you know, that's what I wanted to do. So I've always been interested in character modeling, sprite work, uh, UI work and stuff like that. It really interests me and I love to see it work. The UI is not that bad, actually. I'm looking at it right now, it's, it's okay. I mean, it works, um, but the character models are from the show. They, they specifically said they ripped the models from the show and they reanimated them for this. Uh, so that's pretty cool. It just kind of is a heartbreaker to me that they have the character model for Hyper Dragonoid, but they didn't use them. Now, I could be wrong, but I'm looking at the screen right now. There's a Ventus, what's called Hyper Dragonoid, and he looks just like Dragonoid with some of the colors changed. So uh, that kind of breaks my heart as a fan and you know we have this cool lore where they evolve and they get bigger and they get stronger and like i would love to you know play with titan dragonoid right he's dope or evolve nilius and split nilius into these two dragons and with swords and crap um so i don't know that's a heartbreaker we get to see some cool bakugan though um i mean treaders is cool of course there's trox for me i'm gonna love trox gonna get me a diamond trox probably um, Auxilator is neat. Cyrus is cool. Um, Hydrus is neat. Um, Hydrus kind of looked a little different. I will say they showed a Hydrus. So I don't know. I can't tell you. I can't tell anyway if the character models are being changed or what. But um, it's definitely not the ones we've seen, or at least Dragonoid isn't. I might be wrong. But I'm looking at the screen, it says Hyper Dragonoid, and the character looks like the other one with some recolored panels or added metal panels on his legs. I don't know. Um, it could be that way. They might change it. I don't know. Um, but yeah, uh, that's kind of it. Um, they kind of had some gameplay that I'm going to be playing throughout this trailer, probably, that they sent me. Um, and I don't know. Uh, I'm going to play the game. Uh, full disclosure, I believe they said they were going to send me one. Um, so just to put that out there, I, I don't think, uh, they, uh, they are going to send me a game. So, uh, I am going to play it. It will be on the channel. Uh, I'm going to have fun with it. I mean, like I said, I love collecting monsters. Um, I love looking at the character models and how they work and stuff. Um, and I, you know, I love Bakugan in general, so I'm going to like try to get all of them and have a good time with it. Uh, and obviously maybe do some battles with some friends or something. I don't know. Uh, there's no local play on the Wi-Fi, on, on the internet play. It's only Wi-Fi play. That is something they stated. Um, but yeah, other than that, uh, if you guys have any comments or questions or concerns, maybe I can answer them in, in the comment section down below. Go ahead and leave a comment there. Uh, if not, I will see you guys uh, early next month when I think this game releases and uh, maybe we can have some battles together. This has been Raging Cajun reporting from the uh, special secret event that they showed off Bakugan Champions of Restroya. Um, and I just appreciate you guys being here. Uh, it, this is really cool. It's a really cool experience for me. Um, I'm not going to say I'm let down. I'm going to say I am hopeful that it's better than what I anticipate. Uh, I think the game is going to be just fine. Just fine. Uh, and I think if you're a Bakugan fan, you'll enjoy at least having it in your game library. So 
Uh, look out for it, guys. Coming out next month. I think it's going to be okay. Uh, I'm going to be playing it. Again, I think they're sending me a copy. Full disclosure. Um, but other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Appreciate y'all being here. And uh, catch you on the channel again. Bye.